Each night, one world-class chef must make it past not one, not two, but all three of my titans if they want to take home $25,000 in cold, hard cash. Think I'm hard to beat? Wait till you get a taste of my triple threat. Tonight, I've invited a culinary powerhouse to my secret kitchen. This week's chef has trained in Michelin-starred kitchens before returning home to open her own business. As the first Southerner to win Top Chef, oh, I'm not sure she's it. gonna show you any hospitality tonight. Password, please. Gumbo. Oh, yes, that's a good password. Please welcome Chef Kelsey Barnard-Clark. I love Kelsey. Hi. And then at the same token, I'm like, now I got a question. So, hey, y'all. Hey, hey. <laughs> How do you feel about them? I mean, they're all right, you know? Yeah. I think that being the best means you have to take down people that are considered better than you. So I want to do that one by one. Right, for round one, the ingredients are blue crabs and okra. 40 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Let's go. go. For my first dish, I'm doing a crab gumbo bisque with fried okra. I know, I can make a roux in less than five minutes if I get my flour in a scorching skillet, whisk it until it's brown, and then add the butter, and you basically have an instant roux. Making gumbo? I'm making a gumbo Okay, bisque. I like that. So that's one dish. What's the other one? The other one is a crispy okra and crab salad. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to fry the crab and then make a fried crab bisque to be the sauce for my first course. What are you doing? Uh, making right now a blue crab stock with lots of bonito, kombu. You bringing Asian flavors to the game? No, just to add a little bit more umami to the yeah. stock. And okay. then, um, I'll use this stock for a fideo dish. You're doing crab fideo? Yeah, double paella. Beautiful. For my second dish, I'm making fideos, which is basically a pasta paella, and I'm doing it with the flavors of crab cakes. What's the other dish? Uh, I'm doing a uh, scallion and crab pancake with fried okra. So next, I'm gonna cook these like crepes with a little bit of scallions inside. It gives the illusion that the pancake itself has been charred. Come on, baby. 20 minutes. I hate this stuff. Ugh. Stop it! You're talking bad to it. It's not gonna be your friend. I'm going to attempt to make fried crispy okra. Take the seeds out or leave them in? No, you can leave the seeds in. Wait, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Typically, gumbo is a lot of things floating in it and it's sitting over a bowl of rice. And so I'm gonna put all of this into the blender until it's this velvety bisque situation. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Woo. Is that her gumbo? It is. Little mess never hurt nobody. Next, I'm gonna get this bisque in the bowl, which is some beautiful cut chives and a little bit of baby watercress. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time to introduce tonight's judge. He's been a legend in the New York City fine dining scene. Please welcome Chef Michael Lomonaco. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're gonna start with Chef A. Dish one is a blue crab and charred scallion pancake with blue crab bonito bisque and a buttermilk fried okra. Dish two. So this is a crab cake for Deos with pickled okra tartar sauce. It's a great looking dish. Okay, we're gonna move on to Chef B. So the first dish is okra three ways and crab salad. Okay. Fried, pickled, and blistered. The second dish. Crab gumbo bisque with fried okra. Michael, your dishes received a score of seven points. Kelsey, your dishes received a score of six. All right, round two. Create two distinctively different dishes using. The clams. Thank you. Quail eggs and bacon. Why? It's just bacon and eggs, folks. Ready? Ready. Let's go, cook. Oh! Let's go, Brooke. I'm gonna tone things down and not make them as bold as I normally would. Dish one is a BLET, which is bacon, lettuce, egg, tomato. Dish two, I'm doing a egg drop soup in a pork broth with a bacon dumpling. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my broth going for the soup with some ham hocks and bacon with some chicken stock. I'm then gonna take half of that and add 
brown sugar to make it the caramelized bacon and onion for my toast. So I'm making a bacon and lentil shakshuka with quail eggs. Shakshuka is a stew that's made with tomatoes and spices, and then you bake eggs into it. But I'm actually adding some black lentils, which will pair with the smokiness of the bacon. What was Brooke juicing? It sounded like a beet, and it looks like a beet. Brooke, what are you doing with the beets? I'm hoping to pickle some quail eggs. Sounds I think great. that's incredible. For my second dish, I'm doing a beet green salad with pickled quail eggs and a warm bacon vinaigrette. So for my pickling liquid, I have juiced beets, vinegar, I have sugar, I have salt, and that's gonna be standing by for when my quail eggs are boiled. Now it's time for me to do the egg dropping part into this broth. I'm definitely a little nervous right now. I'm not getting these ribbons like I want. It's, it's more tiny pieces in terms of the texture. For my vinaigrette, I add some shallots and then some whole grain mustard and a little honey and then some apple cider vinegar. But I also feel like beet greens will pair beautifully with those beet pickled eggs. It's a mess over here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Thanks, guys. Chef A. B-L-E-T with bacon fat, quail egg vinaigrette, caramelized bacon, and bacon fat fried quail eggs. Okay, the second dish is a quail egg drop soup in a bacon broth with bacon dumpling. All right, we're gonna move on to Chef B. Dish number one, beet green and carrot top salad with warm bacon vinaigrette and beet pickled quail eggs. Let's move on to the second dish. This is a lentil, bacon, and quail egg shashuka. So Kelsey, your dishes received a score of eight points. Congratulations. Brooke, your dishes received a total of also eight points. She's not happy. Mm -mm. Third round, please show us what ingredients we'll be working with. Are you ready? I don't know. Llama beans and catfish. All right. OK, sounds good. Let's cook. Whoop. I am making a cornmeal fried catfish over lima bean hop and john with a lima bean puree. But I'm going to bring in some Thai elements to this and mirror the flavors of a Thai whole fried fish with a green papaya salad and a Thai sum tom sauce. I'm making Alabama catfish with a smoked lima bean and turkey broth. I get my pressure cooker going with smoked turkey, smoked ham hocks, garlic, a little onion powder. The llama beans itself are fresh, so they don't need much time to cook. 10, 15 minutes, they're completely done. We got a really concentrated broth working. We're also gonna take preserved lemons, olives, piquillo peppers. So real Mediterranean flavors. Yeah, it's Mediterranean, but you're gonna be surprised how southern it still feels okay. when you finish. That's classic Tiffany. It looks like the south, tastes like the south, but also there's a detour. There is. I am really struggling butchering these fish. You're gonna have to be on the towel because you're too slippery. If I don't figure out a way to get this done faster, I'm gonna have a hard time getting everything on the plate. Getting the filet off the fish is fine. It's the skin that is just taking me a minute. I'm focused. I'm gonna get this catfish butchered down breaded and in the fryer. Kelsey's doing what Kelsey does. She's making fried fish, and I really want the catfish to shine. So I'm just doing a little bit of seafood seasoning with sumac, sweet paprika, and salt. Sing, baby, sing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Let's start with Chef A. Cornmeal fried catfish with a lima bean hop and john over lima bean puree topped with a green papaya salad with a Thai som tom drizzle. Let's go to Chef B. This is Alabama catfish with smoked turkey and lima bean broth with preserved lemon and olives. Tiffany, I enjoyed your catfish and the lima beans so much. I scored your dish. 17. Kelsey, that cornmeal crusted catfish was beautifully prepared. I gave your dish 19. Whoa. Congratulations. It feels really good to take home an entire suitcase with $25,000.
Come grab your cash and let's get a drink.